We are looking at a Health Human Resource Committee that has begun their work with a mandate from myself to look at very innovative approaches to addressing the shortages in staffing that we see. Uh, I, I want to also thank the over 20 individuals, nurses, that uh, stepped up on the weekend to kindly offer to take shifts over the weekend uh, to support the emergency department. Uh, so Shared Health and the WRHA is aware of those fluctuations in pressures in the emergency department and take steps uh, on an ongoing basis to address those. What made the idea though that the healthcare system, or the pandemic rather, simply exposed the weaknesses and the, 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 the frailty of the healthcare system that occurred before the pandemic? Well, it, it, we, had, we had challenges and we had issues that uh, we were addressing. An example of how we decided as a government to address that is the Clinical Preventative Services Plan and the great announcement today that uh, over 20 people will be able to receive care very soon right here closer to home. And if they're not going in into Winnipeg, it also takes the pressure off the, uh, the, the facilities in, in Winnipeg. So yes, the pandemic has amplified and exposed some gaps, some, some barriers and challenges that we need to overcome. I'm pleased that I issued a compliance order to the College of Registered Nurses of Manitoba, which will allow for uh, streamlining and quicker registration of nurses that are, are working in other provinces in Canada that would like to return to Manitoba and get certified and get right into the system and begin helping with the pressures that we are seeing. So most definitely, I, I don't think anyone can argue that the pandemic has amplified and exposed some gaps and some challenges. Our government is addressing those, increasing uh, nursing seats. Uh, I've made pointed out today some of the other things that we're doing uh, in terms of the clinical preventative services plan and building new facilities across the province, increasing seats at Red River College for nurses, uh, ICU training. So it's not just one, um, one avenue to address in it, it's many things coming together. On the short term, what can we do? Like nurses are tired, doctors are tired. What can you do as government to make sure that the system is not crumbling or well, one of the things I have done, and that's the compliance order and uh, issued to the College of Registered Nurses of Manitoba. So we'll see some of those nurses that want to practice here in our province go right into the system. We are also providing incentives. I, I, I think uh, Jane alluded to that uh, in her comments, that there are incentives being offered to nurses. Um, working along with the various colleges, the College of Nursing, as you know, has added a third intake that will start next year. That will bring 120 more nurses into, into the system. We're looking at other models as well of care. So we're talking to the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Manitoba. We have the MNU around the table. We have CRNM. Everyone is talking about innovative approaches and new care models that we can consider to, to address the pressures that we're seeing. We're talking, uh, this week I will be talking with the Federal Health Minister about the challenges that Manitoba faces with, with staffing and, and how the federal government can help us in terms of uh, shoring up those staffing resources that we need here. So a lot of discussions at many different tables but our government is committed to addressing the staffing shortages that we are dealing with. Other models? Well, as, as you know, uh, Bartley, at uh, one point, uh, paramedics uh, came forward and said, we would like to help in the emergency department. We are looking at a pay, uh, physician and triage model where we have a physician right in the emergency department helping with triage, ensuring that individuals are at the right place for the type of care that they need. And uh, so that's one of the models we're looking at. Uh, the colleges have come forward with other models. They feel that nurse practitioners, licensed practical nurses can play a greater role. Uh, physician assistants have met with me and they're saying we would like to pl play a greater role. So we are listening, nothing is off the table and our government is leaving no stone unturned in terms of addressing this issue.